Okay, I'm gonna show you a little clue. I want to figure out what the answer is to this one before I solve it. Um, so sometimes when you've got these worksheets, you need to check whether the answer is like, well, no, no, I, I think I'm right, and the answer that this worksheet is wrong it happens all the time. Uh, hands in the desktop, it's wrong. We want to check it. So you can use certain tools. So I, I like to use geogebra.org slash classic. And when you come to geogebra.org, you can click on the perspectives here and choose the cast perspective. So I've got to type it in here. Let me just see if I can shrink this a little bit. Mm. Right. So what does the CAS stand for? Uh, computer Algebraic System or something like that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do division. And if you click on, if you start typing the type of thing that you want, I want division or remainder or something, you start until the word pops up and like, okay, it recognizes this. I found the function. And then you can go over and read. So this is what we want. We want the divide, the dividend polynomial and the divisor polynomial. So that's the, the function we're given, and that's what we're going to divide it by. So we're going to use this function. Uh, and then we have to type it in. So we've got 2x to the power of 4 minus 3x to the power of 3 minus x squared plus 5x plus 4. This is going to be divided by x squared minus 1. And there we get our quotient and remainder. So our quotient is going to be 2x squared minus 3x plus 1, and our remainder is going to be 2x plus 5. 2x plus 5 is what we're looking at. All right, let's see how we do it manually. So remember, when it comes to your IXL on polynomial division that you'll get on Friday, don't use this software. You're not going to be getting the learning required to get the right sort of process. You need to do math, get it right, get it wrong. Get told, no, that's wrong, that's feedback. You've got to have something catching your mistakes to help you through these type of problems. That's how you train the accuracy that will help you pass an agent. So we need 2x to the 4 minus 3x cubed minus x squared plus 5x plus 4. This is our dividend. This is our divisor. I came around and I saw a few people adding a 0x term in the middle of this. I like that idea. That's a good idea. It's a good solution. Um, but I will use a different type of strategy, but I was perfectly happy to see people thinking on their feet, thinking, oh, I need to add a term there, and then just add the zero term. And that will work as well. I basically do the same thing. So I asked myself, what do I multiply x squared by to get 2x to the fourth? 2x squared. So 2x squared times this is going to give me 2x to the fourth. 2x squared times minus 1 gives me minus 2x, so I'm going to write it here. So you said minus 2x minus 2x squared. I do that a lot. I do that a lot. My, my mouse doesn't always do what my hand does. Or my head does not. My hand, usually it's my hand doesn't do what my brain is thinking. My brain is going faster than my hand usually when I'm writing. So my brain's on the next thing, and my hand's still writing the last one. I don't know if you guys get that. So then we just do our subtraction. So these ones are going to cancel, but we need to drop this one down, 3x cubed. And then we've got minus x squared, minus, minus. So this is going to be plus x squared. Now we need to drop down the next term. We get plus 5x. I've basically got the middle term here, the zero term. I'm just not, just not thinking about it as much as you get. Like that. What do we want to multiply x squared by to get minus 3x squared? Minus 3. Where do we want to write that? Minus 3x. We want to write over here, don't we? We want to write it here in the units column, keeping your column straight. So minus 3 times minus 
times x squared gives minus 3x squared. Yeah, yeah. so, oh, that would be good. <laughs> Cancel. So this is minus minus three x cubed. This is still plus x squared. It's still plus five x. But what do we have to multiply x squared by to get minus three x? Cubed, we need to multiply it by minus 3s, and then it goes here because that's the inequality. This gives us minus 3x cubed, minus 3x times minus 1. What's that going to give us? Plus 3x, we write it here. We do our subtraction. So this one drops down, we get an x squared. This one gives us a plus 2x. We can drop this one down. What do we need to multiply x squared by to get x squared? Plus 1. This gives us x squared minus 1. This gives us 2x, 4 minus minus, plus 5. So we have our... Our quotient and our remainder. So, sorry, let me just finish it up. So we've got to find the quotient and remainder when f of x is divided by g of x. So this means that f of x is equal to g of x multiplied by our quotient 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 plus 2x plus 5. And here we have our r of x, our remainder, and our q of x. Just that.